Morning chaps, today is Tuesday the 1st of December 2020 and in the back you'll see a couple of beer kegs. These are 100 litre Sankeys that I picked up from my good friend Mr Martin Bailey. Check out his channel on YouTube and uh, pick these up in order to save us a job when we're canning beer so because we don't have pressurized vessels at the brewery what we have to do is transfer the beer into a purged 50 litre Sankey keg and then hook that up to the canning line so we have to do that 10 times per run because we get 500 litres give or take usually actually about 440 out of the vessel itself so yeah about nine or ten times we have to fill up a Sankey keg add the priming sugar which allows us to mix in the tank during the filling process and then hook it up to the canning line and start canning this means we'll only have to fill five of them up because they're 100 litres we're going to go in to the brewery this morning we still have quite a few people picking up the advent calendars um, I'll talk a little bit more if we get time about the control panel for the cask washer in fact I might put that in a separate video just so there's a little bit of continuity from one video to the next and uh, we'll see where we go from there so let's drive in <clears throat> excuse me ladies and gentlemen while I clear my throat we're in so a couple of advent calendars there to go out these are the orders that we've got to go out today uh, collection this evening so we're doing shipping on Tuesdays and Thursdays normally you need to have at least four orders going out um, to warrant the courier coming to collect but on this occasion because we've got the new Christmas beer releases we've got a nice chunk of beers gonna go there and then uh, as you can see uh, these are the empty boxes from when we packed up the advent calendars here's some of the 12 days of Christmas these ones are the 24s we've got a few of them left but uh, I did say I was going to explain why we can't ship them so well listen to this okay so obviously the size of our cans I'll just use one of Attic Brewery's cans to illustrate this the size of our cans are there so we've got almost another can of empty space, but not quite. Because I know what a lot you're going to say. Just stick two cans in there, mate. Don't you worry, we'll drink them. But unfortunately, two won't fit. But we do have almost a full can of headspace between each one. Therefore, the alternative would be I'd have to pack every single one so they didn't move around. Um, and then when you went in to get your beers, you, you wouldn't be able to get your beer through the little hole because, of course, there'd be packaging in the way. And then secondly, they are really, really thin single wall boxes. And that, unfortunately, means they wouldn't stand up uh, to being thrown around in the postal service. So when we ship out, we use these double wall boxes here and they give the beer plenty of protection and the beers as you can see from the imprint on the bottom fit perfectly 24 cans and then we have some smaller boxes which fit perfectly 12. so that's how we ship and these boxes aren't free of course the 24s cost one pound ten each and the 12s cost 76 pence so there's an incurred cost there and of course the same applies to the 12 beers of Christmas so that's why we're not shipping uh, these boxes in a nutshell and if you want to buy the beers of course you can but they'll just be in one of these boxes not one of these boxes anyway enough of trying to flog my beer let's uh, move down the unit a little bit and show you the stock that we're carrying now which is going to take us through into January February I don't mind if it all sells out fingers crossed but this is where we are so let's start up here so on the left all of that is vacant gesture 
all of this is coconut, all of this is porter, and all of this is a stack taller than I am. All of this, well not quite, is best bitter. There we go. Our third best selling beer, believe it or not. Let's go back across the unit and have a look at the second pile. I'm going to put all these together today. I might even take a little photo of them all. So over here we have a pallet, or half a pallet, around a thousand cans of proof of concept. And then this stack here, zoom out might be a little bit better for you to see it. That's all Plum Porter. And this is all the Vermont IPA lockdown at Bernie's. And then let's go around the corner. You can see over here, this is what we've got left of all the cans that we ordered. Just a couple of layers. We're going to get them out of the way soon. Now, this is a mixed pallet. So from here upwards, we have our stout. Ignore the labels. It is definitely stout in there. And then the rest of it below and down is more vacant gesture. Different batch, different conditioning time. Uh, I've walked past the Kvirk beer, the Bjorn again. A little darker than anticipated, but still knock your socks off hoppy. We have the Kolsch. We ran out of labels on the Kolsch. So we got well over 1,100 cans. Uh, but there's the label. Knock ein Bier, which means uh, one more beer in German. So there we go. Kolsch. And then... In the cold room, stroke warm room, stroke doing nothing rooms, we've got the West Coast IPA, the four for can beers, what we've got left at the back, and then at the back of that, there's some orange and some cherry stout, which I had an experiment with. Didn't think it was good enough to send out, so I've pulled it. That's there for our regulars to come and have some freebies if they want them. Some people like it, actually. And then this is a palette of pale so we've got a lot of beer we did 12,000 cans if I've neglected to mention that I probably said it 50 times over the past few videos because I'm really quite proud of that it's an achievement and then up here we've got the cold room apart because finally if some of you stalwart followers of the channel will remember we used an undersized cable to run the 12 volt supply for the cooling fans and it needs changing now Ones, love. Right. Bring this up. So this is how we've been doing the packing, obviously saving on the legwork and what have you. We've had a huge tidy up, sorted the electrics out up the top there and made the whole place look a lot better. 100 litre kegs are up there. If you're watching Martin, yes the spears do fit, they just need lengthening a touch. And uh, Stuart picked up these chairs from his sisters the other day. Wanted to put them in the pub, but we don't like the stands. Not very nice stands, but the seats are really comfortable. So we're taking the stands off of the base. No, we're taking the base off of the seat. And then we're taking some of those pub chairs that we made two years ago for the brew shed and just bolting them on. And it kind of looks a bit strange, but, you know... Once you're on, obviously you can't tell, but once you're on, it really is kind of comfortable. So, four comfy chairs instead of people sitting on a, like a science class school-esque piece of wood. Butt busters, I think someone's calling these. But basically just sat on a piece of plywood otherwise. So that's always going to be an improvement, isn't it? I think so, anyway. So before we bugger off home for the day, after the delivery man has been, I'm going to extend these two spears from a 50 litre keg so they can go into the 100 litre kegs. They need another 95 mil of tube on the end. Fortunately, I have another spare spear, so we'll just chop... Two 95mm sections off of this 
and use the metal glue gun to stick them on there, aka the TIG welder. Well, there we have it. I was going to get Sam to do a little bit of filming for me because he was just here, uh, but he's had to bugger off, so I wasn't able to set the tripod up and capture this. But there we go. Some extension on the uh, spears that are going to go into the 100 litre kegs. Not the straightest thing in the world, but oh, nor am I. Um, two of them, of course. So let's go and test these for size. All I did was just chop off a little 95mm section from the other uh, spare spear that we have. Oh, and you'll notice that today's packages are gone. So if you've ordered any beers, folks, they're on the way. Here we go. Oh, yes. I think that, looking at the depth there, is spot on. One for here as well. Beautiful. Two functioning, 100 litre kegs. Friggin' result. Right, now I have to bugger off, folks, because there's a few beers, a few Christmas boxes I've got to deliver. So I'm going to sign out for today's vlog. Thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you on the next one, when I'll probably talk a little bit more about this control panel.